Okay. I'm just going for a short ride right now, actually, because I plan on... I plan on going go-karting today, so I'm going to do a... I guess he's asking for directions. Don't ask a cop, they're all fat and stupid. If you want to ask for directions, that's... I'm going to ask anyone else. Somebody commented that under hard acceleration that my bike sounds like it has some kind of clanking or something, like some kind of metallic bad sound. But I'm fairly certain it doesn't. You know? I'm, I'm really attuned to my bike's sounds. What I'll, one thing I'll do is every once in a while, like once every month, once every two months, I'll go for a ride on my motorcycle with either no helmet or a half helmet. Uh, and obviously I don't go far. Uh, but the reason I specifically do that is just to hear my bike to hear if there's anything loose or rattling or whatever. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to hear it with a full head. Well, so there's, there's some things you will hear with a full helmet on, but there's some things you won't. So every once in a while I'll purposely wear either no, uh, either no helmet or a half helmet and just go for a short ride just to see here what's going on with my bike. Kind of bad, eh? I'm, here I am, somebody who... Uh, some people listen to with regards to motorcycles, and I'm recommending you go for a ride with no helmet on. You can understand the sentiment. Like, I'm not saying I go for a ride ride, but, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe, uh, ride out into the country with your helmet on, and then take it off, and then just go, a, a, you know, like, two blocks back and forth on a deserted street with your helmet off, just to, just to hear what your bike sounds like. Put your helmet on the side, go for a little, little, little ride somewhere where it's perfectly safe to do so and just listen to the sounds of your bike. And if you do that like once a month or once every couple of months, then you'll, you'll notice things. This is kind of a cool gateway here. Eh? Still got that little bike trying to keep up with me that I passed earlier going down that hill. Pass me. Let them feel good. Nah, he doesn't want it. He backed off. that this camera actually the wind doesn't affect it too much. My uh, MPEG-4 camera, if it's windy, forget about it. I can't, I can't film anything. This one seems to be, this one seems to do all right. I had one, there was a video, the whole, the whole new road video. That whole video was due to the fact it was windy because I was on a road like this and it was, it was really windy and I thought that maybe no one could hear what I was saying. So I turned off to try to get out of the wind and I ended up finding that really beautiful road. Uh, but the funny thing was, later when I watched the video, even though it was pretty windy, you could still hear me, you could still hear me fine, and you could barely even hear the wind on the video. So, so even though it's super windy right now, I'm not too worried. Oh 
you know, there's one video I said Todd was something and I got cut off. Uh, I'll mention it again now. There was a time when I went back to Canada. I've only been back to Canada, like, once. I actually went back twice, okay? But the first time I went back was, like, after only being in Taiwan for, like, two months. You know, like, when I first came to Taiwan, I was here for, like, two months. And then I flew back to Canada to, like, take care of some business. And then I was only back for a few days, and it wasn't for pleasure. It was just to go back to, like, tie up some loose ends. And then I came back out to Taiwan. And then I stayed here for, like, five years without going back once. And then I went back to Canada one time. And that was, you know, that's pretty much my first time back. And then, uh, and then, yeah, and then it's been another three, four years since then. I haven't been back again. But, uh, yeah, when I went back to Canada, I had a really good time. I really did. I enjoyed it. It was fun. I should go back more often. But it's not that easy, especially now that I have three freaking dogs. But, uh, yeah, I had a really good time when I went back to Canada. And then when I got back to Taiwan again, I was actually in depression for a couple of days. Because I was like, I miss Canada. I'm like, whoa, Canada is just so clean and the people are all so friendly. And I really missed it. And then, and then I got up on one of these roads here, these mountain roads. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember what I like about Taiwan. I found a little motorcycle just caught up to me again. He's in my van. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, if it, if it wasn't for these mountain roads, I probably wouldn't even be in Taiwan anymore. These mountain roads are what keep you sane. And I know I show these mountain roads in a lot of my videos, but you gotta remember that, you know, five days a week, six days a week, I don't see these roads. Five, six days a week, I'm, I'm, I'm in the city, at work, dealing with traffic and idiots. temple right there. I, I never even noticed that temple before. That's so strange. I've been up and down this road hundreds of times and I've, I've never noticed, I've never specifically noticed that temple. I might have seen it before, but I've never actually like looked at it. Now we got a few other big bikes there, big shooter. They're 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 going a pretty tame speed. I'm gonna cut this video and try to think of something more interesting to talk about.